Okay, I think it's happening. And we're live at the West Palm Beach Marriott. Do you want to mute the TV or turn it off? Yeah, should we turn it off? You have the remote right there. Let's turn it off. Yeah, West Palm Beach, Hilton, room 217. (laughs) <laughs> in case anybody wants to join. There is a do not disturb sign out there, though, so maybe we should take that down. Please, if you want people to join. Please disturb. Why does it look so blue? Hello, hello. Is the light blue? Is this live? Is that, where do you, where do you, where can somebody watch that? YouTube. Oh, that's a YouTube chat? Yeah. It's on my YouTube personal page, but you guys can rip it and do whatever you want with it. Well, I don't know how to do that, Hans. I'll show you. I'll show you how to rip it. You show me how to rip it? I'll show you how to rip it. On the skateboard? No, I was hoping you could show me how to shred it. I can't shred it. I can rip it without shred it. You never skateboarded before? No. You never done a oh, sick no, no, little no. nolly, ollie, or whatever? A nolly. A nolly, a gnarly nolly. A nolly. You, you did a snorly last night, or you were snoring so loud it woke everyone up. Yeah, William. That was. Uh, you weren't talking to me, Ike. Oh. Ike, I was talking about you and your snoring. <sighs> yeah, well, um, you know, it's just something I've had to live with. Uh, my poor wife. Uh, I'm good, thank you. My poor wife has uh, had to live with it. We've had to live with it for years now. It's terrible. Have you thought about getting a CPAP machine? What is, is that? that? What's you don't that? Know what CPAP? What's that? What's CPAP? What's your dreams or something? What is CPAP? Do you know, Hans? Colonial pap snare? Colonial pen amphitheater. Have my wife and I ever considered getting a colonial pap smear? I don't. No, nope, I can't say honestly that we ever have. Colonial pen pap smear. Well, we all slept together last night. That was fun. Yeah, we all slept in the same room. We got to know each other. Um, Ike snores. Um, yeah, that's, I guess that's all we got to know. That that I that I snore. What else? William was laughing at you. you I was laughing? not laughing. How long did the snoring go on before you had to? Like do five something? seconds. Okay. Yeah. They were both like Ike. Where's the Ike? Then why are you making me feel so bad about it? If it was only five seconds, you're acting like I disrupted your whole your whole uh, like, REM cycle. REM it was sleep. Humorous. Yeah, it was funny. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was like really funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. You left Sorry it. About that. Right, I'm laughing now. That's yeah, it was sweet. That's pretty funny. I, I should left it. So um, yeah, <laughs> we we all spent the night together. We went on a little <laughs> trolley ride or like a little electric car ride, and we all got wet. Sexually. Super wet. I was drenched. It's kind of an uncomfortable ride. I feel like it could have been way better if it was in the daytime or in sun, sunny weather. But it's raining in uh, wherever we are. Raining in West Palm Beach. Ike and I kissed last night. Remember that, Hans? Yeah. They got it on tape. They say they tape everything. Did they? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Maybe you can rip that into something good. I'm going to definitely have to rip that and do something with that. You would? I'm definitely going to have to rip that and do something with that. Okay, Hans, why did you bring us all together here today? Yeah, Hans, it seemed like there was something really pressing on your mind. So we are all here today, uh, this weekend, at the West Palm Beach Improv, opening up for the great Tony Hinchcliffe. And I just wanted to um, get us all here together to sort of talk about the Queen. Uh, yeah, I cannot believe she died. Has it come out yet? What happened? Did somebody was she murdered? Seriously, I think it was like a out? knife fight or something. Yeah, she was uh, climbing down a storm drain, and some uh, security guard saw her, and then uh, Iranian uh, ninja killed the security guard and then engaged in a knife fight with the queen. You don't hear enough about Iranian ninjas, but they're out there. Hashashans. Hashashin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, assassins. <laughs> Did you say hashish? Hashishins. Have you ever smoked that stuff? Hashish? Uh, is that like... Uh, Whoa, are you guys smoking hashish in there? <laughs> 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 
Is that anything like hookah? I've, I've done a hookah. Yeah, I don't really know what it's like. Opium. Mm. Opium. Opium, more like copium. You guys cope in the queen's death hard like a bunch of cucks. So what is this, Ike? What is this we're smoking? Uh, I think you're smoking the end of it. I smoked the end of it. <laughs> Uh, this is a uh, uh, grapefruit, uh, lemon zest, sort of uh, Chinese herbal, Delta 8 cousin derivative. Ooh, that has like a gas taste to it. Yeah, it's the, uh, it's whatever I just said it was. Ooh, that tastes like gasoline. You ever, do you like gasoline? Uh-uh. Hmm. It's like gasoline. Did you taste that? No. The thing that tastes like gasoline? Try the other one. You might get a headache now. Oh my god. Oh gosh. Oh my god. Should what we is... should we do other drugs? Do you have any do you have Mimi's Yeah, where's Mimi? Did she wake up today? Oh my god, I hope so. Oh, this tastes like tramam tramamine. Dramamine? Dramadol? Dramadol. Isn't that like the chemical when you eat turkey? No, it's dramamine. That's Tryptophan. Tryptophan's in Turkey. And I'm in your mom. <laughs> Hans. <laughs> you gotta stop that, Hans. You, you, you came on to my mom a month ago at one of the Kill Tonys, and she told me you've been texting her, and it's been a whole ordeal. I mean, she's a grown woman. How did that end up with Ike's mom? It was, uh, I like Ike. Let's just say I like Ike. I'm not going to call you stepdad. <laughs> well, you look like a future stepdad. I don't know how to take that. <laughs> You're very young. Oh, okay. For now. Is that what that means? <laughs> Is that what that means? <laughs> <laughs> future stepdad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> future stepdad. You, know, you, you don't see too many, like, GQ list of top ten future stepdads. It's a, you don't see enough of those. Uh, someone's got to get on that. Somebody has to. It's imperative. Somebody has to. It's imperative. They really have to. I mean, they have to. Should we do this? Yeah, we need to. Okay. Let, let us know how the volume is, because to me, I feel like I'm a little too quiet. Hello, 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 hello. Anyways. Just sound off in the comments about the volume. So we got our first question, Stepdaddy Hans. Is this like a JRE podcast tryout? Yeah, this is my audition, right? This is like a casting couch of sorts. You guys invited me here and said that I need to give it my all, is what you kept saying. And in quotes, you kept saying I needed to give it my all. And then you kept winking at Hans. And I was like, I don't... I don't. Yeah, Ike's about to get on the Joe Rogan podcast. I think, yeah, he is trying. Whoever asked that, you're correct. Ike is trying out. I'm really trying. I've submitted at least four references, a um, couple CVs. It's a process. Six interviews. It's a process. Six interviews up to this <laughs> point? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Did you have to take a test where they were like, if an elk is 20 yards away and you only have a bow and a compound knife, do you A? Do you A? <laughs> uh, I put no for that, I don't A. I don't know if that's right. I, uh, they, the, the proctor didn't seem too pleased with, me, with what I put, but. No, it's a great podcast. We're just trying to do our own little podcast here. Some would say it's it rivals. Our hotel cast, you know. We're rivals. Yeah, in the hotel, but yeah, we all slept, ended up in the same bed last night. We slept like head to foot, foot to head, head to foot. We were getting to know each other. That way it's not weird. Yeah, not at all. Your feet kind of smelled. Your feet smelled great. Yeah, no, I was going to say nice. Yeah. I was going to ask if you use any kind of like scrub or exfoliant or anything. Biore. Highly recommend the Biore. It's a pomegranate. Pomegranate Biore. Can we scoot over a little bit so I'm not so much in the table? I mean, I don't mean to be a diva. I'm, I'm trying to, I don't know if I can 
this is kind of that chair's heavy. Who moved that chair? <laughs> Who moved this chair in the first place? Hans did. Are you impressed? Hans, that's a heavy ass chair, dude. I mean, I don't really remember moving it that much. He more sc scooted it. Scooted it. Um, so what do you guys think about the queen? Really sad. Do a thumbs up in the chat if you want to see us all make out. Let me see, let's see some thumbs up in the chat if you want to I'm see. I'm going to need to see like a serious string of thumbs up. For yeah, me. we need like at least 10 thumbs up. We need to get like we'll a streak going. Out. Yeah, just we need, yeah, thumbs up emojis or... What other kind of emojis would be? You said you liked the saluting one, right? Yeah, do ten saluting emojis, and we'll make we'll start slowly baking out. Hans, are you cool with that? Yeah. Ten. Okay, we need ten salute emojis. This podcast is now thirty percent bed. If we get five uh, fairy emojis, we'll take our shirts off. Uh oh. Hold on, we're getting a couple thumbs up. It wasn't in a row though. Uh oh. Thumbs uh, down. Okay. All right. Thumbs down equals three thumbs up. So whoever did that, you're having the opposite you were trying to be fucking funny, effect. but little did you know, it's actually three thumbs up. Okay, we're getting Hans is uh, putting this Hans camera taking... on a tripod on a pizza box on a bed. Hans, how were those ribs earlier? They were They're sloppy. Great. Like yeah. a... I've, I've never seen someone mess. eat ribs so messy. <laughs> I want to bad. talk about my snoring. I want to talk about your rib hands, your rib mouth. Rib mouth. Everyone gets rib mouth. What do you mean everybody gets rib mouth when they eat ribs or just generally? <laughs> it's, it's like a symptom of, like a larger, of a larger issue. If you... Similar to trench foot. People were eating ribs in World War I in the trenches and they got <clears throat> rib mouth. Yeah. They got it's rib awful. ass. I read that. What was that magazine we were looking at yesterday? It was the National Geographic. No, Ranger Rick. They were talking about it in Ranger Rick. Mm -hmm. Also, what was that other magazine? Highlight? Highlight magazine. Yeah, they were talking about it in there. Seemed like a very depressing, uh, you know, stray from their usual subject matter, where they normally just have, like, cute little uh, word searches. And let's see some thumbs pictures. up in the... Let's see some thumbs up in the chat if you're subscribed to Highlights magazine. I have a, a bi... Uh, what is it? Bi-weekly membership... Yeah, they send one out twice a month. What are there, four weeks in a month? The bi-weekly membership, I pay for a subscription and they give half of it to LGBTQ uh, organizations. What about the plus? I don't know. I, it's just the bi-annual thing. I don't know. I think if I did the trans... Uh, it would be more... More inclusive. I don't know. I, I might have to upgrade. Is this better? It feels <laughs> feels good. I feel good. Um, so what do you guys think about the, uh, the, the, the magazines, the, uh, National Geographic? Hans, you still have some of the rib sauce on your face. <laughs> you I can wonder we, if people what? can see that. Can people that? zoom in and clip this and rip this? Because you do have rib clip sauce. Clip it and rip it. Clip it and rip it, Ike. I'm oh, like to right here. Remember this timestamp. Yeah, what do you mean right here? Yeah, there's rib stuff You mean the sauce that's not normally on your face? <laughs> that's what we mean. I'm at, Can you like, get it? I see you gingerly going at it. You should be. You should lightly brush it up. Well, luckily, it's going from my chin onto my clothes. Shouldn't those so. thumbs up uh, translate to something? People were thumbs up, and we didn't do anything. Were they thumbing us? They were thumbing us. Let's thumb back, Thumbelina. 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 Is that a musical? Yeah, we were talking about musicals earlier. I didn't realize you enjoyed what the mute you don't like it he, but you uh, hans the music. Uh, hans was singing uh, defying gravity from wicked earlier we were watching gravity oh that's true <laughs> and so i was singing gravity and they were like oh look <laughs> a musical head over here i do think if comedy didn't work out for you though that you could try your hand at broadway you had you, think you had so? a beautiful voice hans i mean you had a beautiful voice you think so i think i try so much that was keep to going. sing keep, yeah. keep a going. song in my heart of a melody in my head. 
keep going. Are you getting this, Mike? Uh, Is someone recording this? Keep going. Pusafa. Keep going. <laughs> Is that from the musical? <laughs> yeah, I think that's from like Les Mis or something. It's like the act one closer. The Music Man, that was a fun one. I was in a production of The Music Man in middle school and I was kicked out for anger management issues. No. uh hmm? Well, I swear to God, if I if we knew that, you wouldn't have stayed in here last night. I was a little worried <laughs> you might try to strangle us in our sleep, but you didn't. And then I started thinking, hold on, actually, am I going to strangle Ike? Because of the snoring? No, not that. I was just thinking, My maybe should I get him first? My overall demeanor and vibe. Like, oh, oh, okay, you wanted to be proactive. I didn't know if I was rubbing you the wrong way or... No, stop. The whole time I was like, I'm rubbing you, does this feel good or is it the wrong way? Or is this the wrong way? No, it was nice. Seriously, it was nice. Ike stayed with us last night. It was very nice. Stayed out talking about our favorite musicals. Our hopes, our yeah. dreams, our fears. We got to know Mimi. Yeah, Mimi works at the... I don't. I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> where she works. She works at the Buffalo Wild Wings in uh, West Palm Beach here. Me, me, a few me, miles me, away. Me, me, me. It was her birthday. It was her birthday. Or Some, at least she kept it was her birthday. days ago. Not specific, because then they could find her social security number. She yeah. had a bunch of pills in her purse. That's the funny thing. is like girls are always telling you when their birthday is, and it's like, I could easily steal your identity now. Yeah, I know your birthday. I girls are always like. telling me their mother's maiden names, and I'm like... <laughs> I can steal your identity now. Yep. Like, bitch, please. Please, bitch. We know it's your birthday. We also know that the second digit in your social security number is a five. And that's all you so need. So that's pretty much all you need. <laughs> one you need. digit in the yeah. social security number. Yep. That's like dominoes. <laughs> dominoes fall. So Mimi Oh my was... gosh, does that mean somebody gave you money? Yeah, 99 cents. Are we splitting that three ways, or is yeah, there... Jacob Jones? How do you want that money uh, split, dude? Yeah, put it in the chat. How much you want the money? Don't just give us money. Yeah, do you want like William to get twenty cents and me to get five or five dollars? Five cents. Oh, well, he didn't even give five dollars. How would we get five dollars? Yeah, five dollars. I mean, no offense, Jacob, but you didn't give five dollars. Yeah, Jacob, like that, we needed five like... bucks, dude. We we really needed five. We're bucks. hungry right now. We haven't been able to eat. We've been literally trapped in this fucking hotel room for what? A day now? What? It's Sixteen big, hours? Almost yeah. twenty-four. Almost a full day. We've it been has trapped. been twenty-four. Yeah, it's actually like twenty-six hours. Yeah, and then Ike joined us. Don't tell the Marriott because we're not actually supposed to have three guests in here. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. I know. We should, probably shouldn't have said the Marriott. That's From gonna, 217. That's going to yeah. be a problem. When the you know when we came back and the room was clean, there was definitely, like, do you, you, you think they yeah. could tell there was an they extra person They thought that here? your pillow was William's pillow, which is a hilarious mistake. You got the oldest pillowcase in the world. That was sweet, though. How long have you had that pillowcase? Um, I think it's been a uh, hand-me-down oh since, since when the queen was born. So it's actually <laughs> fitting that I have this here wow, good job, on the man. day after she died. Day after the anniversary. You can weep into your pillow. Still smells like her. It does? You want, Yeah, you want to take a whiff wherever it is? Where'd it's, it go? It's all the way over there. Where'd it go? Where did it so, go? What, what did you guys think of this? crazy West Palm Beach area that we're in right now. Kind of a lot of a lot of old a lot of old whites. people. A lot of old whites here. Don't you think I um, of all the whites I've seen they have been significantly older than most people. There's not enough uh, Starbucks or vape stores. <laughs> yeah, we need more. We need more. It's like a giant caramel. Hey, we got 45 DKK. Is that uh? What's DKK? Is, is that, that some North Middle Korean? Eastern currency? Democratic corrupt Korea. Oh my god. No PRK or what? No. DPRK. DPRK. Can someone donate like a Doge coin or like a half of a light coin or Get something? Get a quarter pounder with cheese. Who the fuck was that directed at? Well, because you said you were we were hungry. We hadn't eaten. Yeah, we could split it. We could all split a quarter pounder with cheese. That's like, what's a third of a quarter? Shit. Do you know that, Hans? A third of a quarter, so that'd be one twelfth. I, I, I could a go 12th? for a one twelfth pound yeah. burger right now. 
Me too. That's Hope how much. That... That's how much Cherokee I am. No, you're not. Mm-hmm. You're Cherokee. Like really tiny percentage. Do you believe that, Hans? Yeah, we fucked all of them. Or they fucked. You guys fucked each other. I think everyone is like this much Cherokee. We're all Cherokee. Nobody's not Cherokee. Yeah, everybody's Cherokee. Did you know that? Yeah, I'm the one that told you that I was Cherokee and you were the one I that know, was surprised. I know, I'm trying to play it cool. How, how Cherokee are you? You don't want to fucking this know. Is, this is a good, se- this <laughs> this is a good podcast segment. How Cherokee are you? Or what kind of Cherokee are you? That's so Cherokee. Mm. That would be a good show. First up <laughs> on the show, it's William. William, answer the question. Probably a 16th. I think a grandparent was half. All right. Does that math work? (laughs) And that was how Cherokee are you? (laughs) I'm part Oshkosh Bagosh. What happened to that clothing brand? I had a good pair of overalls. What happened to the Mohicans? Daniel Day Lewis bought them out. What a weirdo. People don't talk about Daniel Day Lewis enough. What a total <laughs> fucking weirdo. Is he? I don't really I know. know that much about him. What's weird you about him? You didn't hear about what when he was in Last He's of the Mohicans? He bought like a mall. Really? <laughs> yeah, where they were filming it. Just They filmed he, now he just Last of the Mohicans mall. in a mall? Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of CGI. Yeah, he bought that mall. Remember the mall scene? <laughs> the mall scene in Last of the Mohicans? Is it still a functioning what mall? What has happened to my... Treasured homeland. That's a good Native American accent. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Thank you, brada. <laughs> Thank you, brada. Big ups to you, them. That's my. Uh, Wait, what, what is, is happening to my beautiful That's homeland? A, <coughs> Big it's up. a Mohican accent, right? <laughs> Big ups. <laughs> <laughs> what was the part after Big ups? The first Big ups to you, them. Yeah, to you, them. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's a Mohican actually, accent a that Jamaican I am fine tuning here. here. Okay. Bumbaclot. Yeah, Bumbaclot. What does that mean? It means like. No worries for the rest of. Uh, for your day, de- rest of your days. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like the Lion King. No worries. <laughs> it's like how Red Band always says it. And what does that mean? It means no worries. <laughs> What's your favorite. Jackson 5 song. Um, what is that, the thing Michael Jackson was in? Uh, yeah. Is that what they were one, called? One, two, three. Um, yeah. Wonderwall. That's your favorite? Jackson 5, yeah. Kind of a weird... <laughs> Speaking of Wonderwall, how about that Thunder call? Close call. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. It died. We can fix this. Hans is currently fake. You should see all of the people watching this can't see, but there is literally a sea of cordage behind. Can they still hear us? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just the light that's out. Oh, behind the, the laptop, camera. there's a sea of cordage. Yeah, it's a lot of cords. You're kind of like uh, tangled up over there, Hans. Ooh, look, it's better mood lighting though, baby. You like it? Especially if the making fine. out happens anytime soon. This looks like we're in like a old grandma's basement. It's like sepia tone. It's like we're in the seventies. Sepia, what is that? It's like a sepia? Is that how it's pronounced? Sepia. It's like a sepia color tone? filter that they have on like Instagram and shit. Sepia, sepia. 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 Sapadilla. What's y'all's favorite font? Right now it's Anarome, um, but I like Comic Sans as a classic, you know? You do? Oh, you guys want to insert an ad right here? Yeah, can we do that? How do you do that? You can I can I choose button. what I'm doing an ad for? Insert ad. We just inserted an ad. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> is, are they, is it playing an ad now? Is that how that works, or what, what does that mean? Yeah, they played an ad for all the people. Wow. So what did you just make? Five thousand dollars or something? <laughs> what's what's the split on that? Can I get ad? five cents on that? <laughs> let's do an ad for each one of us. Yeah, let's let's do it. Three ads for three of us. Yeah. There you go. Coming up. I don't even know what that means, dude. When you say that. 
Yeah. Uh, do you know the company or just got added. what you're advertising? Like, what if you're advertising some incredibly unethical, terrible thing that you Next don't up agree is with? a company you should definitely put your money into. <laughs> Ranger Rick. Do it for magazines. Ike. Ike, this is your ad break. Oh, no. Don't cue that up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shuddering to think of what the ad is going to be. This is why you get ad block. Look into ad block. It's a life changer. Uh-huh. What is the ad? All those ads on YouTube are weird. Because I've been yeah. watching tons of Judge Millian. Do y'all like her? Is she around here? Can she come to the show tonight, maybe? Who? Let's call it Judge, Judge Marilyn Millian. She's a fan of comedy. You don't know Judge Marilyn Millian from the People's Court. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, maybe You're I know. You're kidding. Maybe I know the face, but I don't know the name. I don't think. You don't watch the People's Court? Um, I just watched Judge Jerry. Judge Jerry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a real show. He has his own judging show now. That and uh, Judge Steve or something. I think Steve Harvey has his own one, too. Would you just knock over a bowl of Skittles, it sounded like? What was in the bowl? What was that? Oh, it was my gum. You can have some if you want. Um, Yeah, Ike put a piece of gum in his mouth right before we all went to sleep last night. What happened with that gum? I threw it out eventually. We stayed up. Okay, we went to sleep and then stayed up talking for like an hour or so. I didn't choke on it or anything. I was fine, just to be clear. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad you were all right. I was thinking we'd wake up and it'd be like in the back of your hair. You'd have to weaken it Bernie me at the show tonight. <clears throat> what does that mean? We bring you up and My we're... dead body and your, you and Hans are puppeteering it so that way Tony doesn't catch a wise of what's going on. Oh, gosh. Do you think you could do it? Could we hold him up, Hans? We could do it. Yeah, I'm totally down, if you need us to. Well, we do have two shows going on tonight, so maybe... If you need us to. Maybe one of them. If I die? Yeah, if I die, if I'll need, I'll need you to do that. something happens between now and then, Thanks, we can man. hold I, I really you. appreciate that. That means a lot. Can't we, Hans? Let's do it. Yeah, if something happens between now and then, we can... All right, you keep saying it, and it's making me feel a little unsettled, like something's going to happen now. No, no, just if something happens... I see a twinkle in Hans' eye, and I don't like it. I lost my little fuzzy thing. Hans, where did it go? Was it when you tripped and fell over a bunch of shit over there? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's probably on the ground. It's got rib all over it now. Oh, no. No, it doesn't. You cleaned it off. Thanks, man. Is it off your pants? You did. When I you dropped so. your rib earlier, was it on your pants or on the chair? What happened? It was on the pants. Oh, no. These pants are getting pretty dirty. I might have to return them to Amazon. What, you just get some stains on them and then return his pants? <laughs> yeah. Do they have like a rib policy? Do they, do they allow for that? You don't think there's someone in some warehouse There's, somewhere checking this insurance. and going like, huh, hmm, wow. That's why I was eating it so wontonly. Like it was wonton soup. That was a good, and what, you won your game? Yeah. Playing I won my Catan with largest army. One Catan. I actually just uh, passed one billion balloons popped on my balloons tower defense six. I'm not kidding. One million. No, one billion. Oh my god! Do you actually? <laughs> do you want to see? You actually there's play a that? subreddit. I think I want to post a picture because I swear to God, people will be impressed. I haven't played it's that game in so long. It's an insane amount of balloons. I got to see that. You got to pull that. That up. is insane. I haven't played that game in so long. Oh, it's the best game. <laughs> Is it the Bloons one? The Bloons Tower Defense? Oh, I recognize that logo, yeah. Oh, it's the best. I'm totally addicted to it. Bloons? Tower Defense 6. Here, y'all take a look at this. This is very impressive. For those who don't know, Bloons Tower Defense. Uh, you, uh, you wish you could see this. Public stats. How many balloons? Uh, public stats. Total <laughs> pop count. Oh, my God. 1,023,555,999. Balloons. Take a look, Hans. Confirm. 1 billion. Repeat the number, Hans. That's a lot of time. There's two numbers here. Total pop count. uh, Total pop count. That's total cash generated under, which is an impressive amount. 1,023,555,995 balloons popped. I wasn't making it up. That's how many balloons I popped. If anybody wanna, wants to come at me, now, isn't I'm that not good at that. the game where like eventually once you do enough stuff to it, it's just like chaotic to even look at? Like the whole screen is just balloons popping and shit going Yeah, everywhere. but you have to know how to play. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Switch back to that She-Hulk lighting, the green one. Yeah, that was fun. That was cool. Hell yeah. Can you twerk? It'd be just like She-Hulk. Twerk? You didn't see that? No, the She-Hulk. 
toilet. She Hulk was. I mean, it's a show right now, and it came under fire. Were people mad about it? There's a scene where she. I guess she's a lawyer, and she's representing Megan the Stallion, and uh, as you do, the two of them are just twerking together in the office. It's a great scene. It's awesome. So I I don't don't get it. I think it's fun. So Hans, what are you doing with that? I'm trying to match the, you know, the yellow sepia tone color of the whatever that is. That looks good. And now we're all matching color wise. So there's it's not white and that's brown or whatever yellow. We're all matching. I can't believe you did that. I don't know how you. It only took like 40 minutes into this for it to finally get the perfect light. Little by little, every day. What is that from that musical? Yeah, that's. Uh, I think that's little, little Shop of Horrors. Every day, <clears throat> my Jesus is loving me. Oh yes, he's loving me. Keep going. Little by little, every day. <laughs> I don't think that's the right song. No, you guys. You guys. Why is Jesus loving me only little by little? Yeah, he little loves you a lot, little. Hans. I agree. Every day, yeah. my Jesus don't be so modest, Hans. Is loving me. Oh yes, he's loving me. My Jesus. Is that really from yeah, Little Shop of Horrors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know that song? I didn't know it had uh, had Christian undertones oh, yeah. to it. The whole second act, uh, Jesus overtones. is what saves them from the plant. What is the plant's name? Seymour? Uh, no, Seymour is the guy who feeds him. The plant's name Rick is Moranis. Audrey too. We Audrey like... too. Yeah. Well, the main uh, uh, woman in the show, her name is Audrey. And so the plant's name is Audrey too. And Hillcrest, that's a little Hillcrest, bit of... Hillcrest Games says, my pop count is 3 million, and I feel like I've played too much. <laughs> so, that's... what are you getting at, Hillcrest? I'm probably clocking <laughs> over a billion, dog. That means you're like three and a half times sadder than they're. Than they Ten are. times, actually. Yeah, three and a half, isn't it? Wouldn't it be oh, more right. than that? A thousand times. A uh, thousand uh, times sadder. No, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure it's three and a half times. <laughs> Three and a half times a okay, million. Okay, I was trying huh? to be nice a million? to you. Hold <laughs> on, a million? I was trying to be million nice to you. Yeah, yeah. I have a billion. Look, I was, a thousand times I, I was trying to undersell how sad you should feel. If you want to feel as sad as you should, sure, yeah, it's a thousand times sadder. I'm a thousand times more sad than <laughs> that guy. A guy who named that loser. himself after gaming. Gamer guy. And well, it should be that much more impressive. That's true. I just hope y'all are impressed with it. Is it more than just a time thing? You actually have skill to it? I do the same setup for every single thing, so <laughs> it's almost like I'm a crazy person. <laughs> you figured out what works. I think that's great. Yeah. Now, are there any like that still find something that works? <laughs> achievements <laughs> left to unlock or levels to There's a lot of or... achievements. Yeah, I have uh, I have a bunch of monkeys I still need to unlock. No, I, I don't think you can call them that. <laughs> How does popping <laughs> balloons help with monkey release? Well, I mean, we're currently in a collection event, so I've been playing pretty hard during the collection event. Is this uh, app Is that doing like Toyota Thon? Yeah, it's mm. similar. Collection event with Toyota Thon. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> well, it ends with an A, so it's so easy to a thon. Toyota a thon. I prefer Honda Days. You do? Honda Thon? Honda Days, yeah. Honda do, Days. Yeah, like December. Hyundai craze. Hyundai craze, Honda days. Whatever happened to Hyundai Elantras? Like, you were on them for a while, and now you're sort of like, you know. I really you're legally was. not allowed to be near them anymore, right? Literally. You I flipped, flipped one too many. Yep. I got Hyundai. to 15 Hyundai. Hyundai. You were trying to go for the Hyundai. same count. You, uh, you at a, There was a point <laughs> where you had the same total of balloons popped that you had Hyundai Elantras flipped. And you were trying to keep that number neck and neck, right? I had to, but I had to stop. I got blisters on my fingers. A lot of the times those cars, if they just stop, they're real hot underneath yeah. the chassis. <laughs> it's much easier to pop some balloons on your fucking little phone than it is to actually get out there on the street, flip a car. You know, my little phone, it's easier. What? Your little phone, you're going... My balloons. I've got a billion balloons. My point is... I've bought a well, billion balloons. If you flip the billion Hyundai's, that's like can you say that word one more time? Hyundai. Hyundai. I like how you say it. Hyundai. I just like how you say Where it. Where is that Hyundai. from? South Korea. It is. Yeah, my mom actually everywhere? had a Hyundai Elantra, and I was like, "What are you doing, dude?" What it's like your mom, mom, dude. That's incredibly disrespectful. Of you. Would you be mad at me? Yeah. But I wouldn't necessarily target your mom. 
<laughs> that's well, no, it, it, yeah. it me with Ike's mom. It wouldn't be anything <laughs> yeah. personal. Like your mom's gonna get targeted, but it's not because she's your mom. It's because it's just fair and equal treatment. Yeah. That's welcome to America, bitch. Yeah, welcome to America. It's You're called... quite good luck trying to flip your car back over. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be on the roof. That's a heavy ass. It's heavy. That's way harder than the other way around. It's, it's totally to more flip. difficult. Yeah. You have to. Oh, get... Let's just get it rocking. That's true. And then you see those videos breaking. of like uh, you know like when. A big sports team in a city wins, and then everyone's rocking and shit, you know? Yeah. It looks fun. Yeah. I'd love to do that. Let's just do it tonight. Let's start it. Go rock a car right. in West Palm Beach? Yeah. If you've got a car in West Palm Beach that you don't mind us rocking and flipping. Yeah, let us, us know. <laughs> Please let us know. Yeah, if you happen to live at West Palm Beach, you have a car, a Hyundai we can flip over, and you want to watch, let us know. We're not going to flip it back over, though, so... <laughs> Just be yeah, cool well, you're on that. your own once it's done. Once the damage is done, the damage is yeah. done. <laughs> and then he watch just walk away, fade off into the distance. And, like, and it's hard renting out one of those. Do you all remember the Brave Little Toaster, the big magnet thing? It was a machine with a big <laughs> magnet at like the junkyard. You need one of those to flip yeah. it back over. How does it do it? Yeah, you connect it, and then you do it like... You need two. Ten, I know it can be kind of hard because sometimes if you drop it, it just lands on. The <laughs> oh, you're right back down. I hate when that happens. I'm like, oh, not again. I know the person operating it has to be moving the arm. You've like probably this. seen a lot <laughs> you of. You got to swing it. Yeah, you have to swing the it. Aftermath of your wake, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen tons. Sounds awful. They're giant machines. <laughs> They're huge. It's it's impressive to watch. Huge machinery. Do you want to get closer to William? William, would you allow me? Yeah, if you want to. I was wondering why you were over there. Your right arm is out of the Earlier seat. Hans told me to scoot over. Now I've scooted too far. I don't know what you want from me. I just want, I want to make the perfect podcast and I'm getting <laughs> shit on from all sides. Gamer guy, you. Gamer guy. Gamer guy was making fun of William. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, dude, cool. you popped Gamer 3 guy, million you fucking balloons. Come at me after 500, 500 million. Is that a billion? That's like three and a half times less than one. What's a billion? How many millions? A three hundred millions? A hundred. It's a thousand millions. A thousand millions or a billion. Oh, my God. You look like his pet. Pet incel. Hey. Pet a, incel? Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm married. Somebody called us gay on there. All three of us, or just you and me? And Anyone? Cream City. <laughs> Cream, Cream <boy>. City. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Not Cream City. Cream City, take that back. That like really. Yeah, kind of, Cream City. Come on, man. That, I mean, I know we're trying to have fun here, but that really, honestly, kind of took the wind out of my sails. Yeah, Cream City. We're trying to have a good time in this Marriott, and you're fucking... I didn't think I was doing anything <laughs> gay. Yeah, what's your story, Cream City? Why are you even calling people gay? What's going it's on? What are you? Coy. Yeah, what's even going on? Yonder says I'm pooping now. Totally. Yonder did a great William Montgomery impression, LOL. Who fucking said that? What idiot said that? Hans, can you do Scuzz. a William impression? <laughs> Scuzzy. Scuzzy. Who the fuck said that? Can you not you do it? I can't do that right now. I can't do that on the spot. Yeah. I just wanted to see if it was. Hans just took away the magic by doing that. Now you really expect me to try to fuck. I can't. Yeah, you're trying to fuck. You're setting me up for disaster. (laughs) Why are you telling? I can't do that after Hans fucking does it. To the fake William. I come on. Who the fuck said that? I don't have that. <laughs> that I don't have that much like of a southern Roger. accent. So <laughs> doing an impression. Who the fuck said that? So what do you guys think about like the uh, that we're right next to Mar-a-Lago? Yeah, where is it? It's Whoa! Right there. That really accentuates how bald I am. <laughs> yeah, we can see It's a beautiful logo. little key light on the back of your head. Your head. That's all. It's actually quite, it's quite cinematic, really. Anybody who knows anything about cinematic lighting. Check out the liminal lines on William's head. It's not funny, 
<laughs> what are liminal lines? It's like a hallway. I think it, it means like... Oh, yeah, liminal spaces. What is it? It's like creepy. It's like a place you don't want to be. I think it means lines. No, I think it's just a place you don't want to be, like, in the checkout line at a grocery store. That's the, a liminal, liminal space. space. You don't like grocery stores? God, I'm in the gas chamber again. This That's is a, liminal a space. liminal space. <laughs> <laughs> the Holocaust was full of liminal spaces. <laughs> That's why there's so many good directors in Holocaust movies came out of the Holocaust. Did they? I mean, movies. I guess not directors. Steven Spielberg? Yeah, he was in the Holocaust. He was? He's a great director for it. (laughs) George Lucas? We wouldn't have uh, Star Wars without Hitler. Martin Scorsese was a guard. Isn't that so weird? It's It's weird that they still let him direct. He just did The Irishman or whatever. Yeah, it seems like you go to jail for that. Oh, man. Yeah, and he's doing the Irishman. He was a fucking guard, and now they let him do the Irishman. I mean, what is going on? What's the state of affairs in America right now where Martin <laughs> Scorsese can make the Irishman when he was... Everybody knows he was a guard. Sofia Coppola, I'm pretty sure, was, like, pulling gold out of people's mouths and selling it. You know, those doctors Daddy, that did that. This one has gold. Baby, yeah, she, was a baby, she was a child doctor in the hospital. <laughs> they let her experiment. Francis <laughs> Ford, her dad, was... Uh, Oh, like Dr. Doogie Hauser. Isn't Dr. Doogie Hauser based off of That's her? my favorite director. Oh, you like his stuff? Yeah, he's really... It's... NPH? Who? Neil Patrick. No, I'm talking about someone else. I think his name's Doogie oh, Hauser. Hauser. Doogie Hauser. He's, he was the world's youngest doctor. Yeah, don't uh, you? After uh, Sofia Coppola. Yeah, Doogie Hauser. I wonder how he's oldest, doing. The second youngest doctor. Second oldest doctor on the books. I think he's gay now. I know, I heard that. Yeah. I wonder if that has something to do with being a doctor so young. He just... <laughs> Think so? <laughs> just had too many naked butts. You know, if you see too many naked men, you just turn gay. It's like, a numbers game at that point. It's bound to happen. You're like, look at how it's much... a numbers game. <laughs> That's stupid. Just like balloon tower defense. It is a numbers game. It is a numbers game. game. Literally, you don't get to a billion pops without playing for... 28 days. That's how much time I have on it. 28 days. Full days. Not at the same time. Right. But just like con- accrued, compounded over time. I'm kidding. It doesn't say the amount of time you've been on it, and I'm glad. <laughs> because I think it you, would be more than 20. I don't know. You have an iPhone, right? Jesus. You can yeah. see in your settings. How much time are you spent on the app? Yeah. Yeah. There's a... There's a all time? Over yeah. Under. There's a setting in, uh, I would say that tells you your time Altogether usage. 30 days. Um, how do you get to it? Let me see. You gotta guess before we find out. Maybe type in usage? Fuck, I don't, I'm trying to remember. You, you can definitely... Yeah, today, time. Screen time. Today. Is that only and today, then, though? Oh, wait. Oh, you haven't... Ooh, it's not on. Okay. It's not activated. Well, I don't want it activated. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Like, if you go on my phone, you activated. can see that I'm on um, xhamster.com for, like, seven hours a day. What is that, porn? Um, you looking at porn? I am. Uh, so yeah, X Hamster, seven hours a day. Bible app. That's your Four job. hours a day. Is it porn? The Bible app? No. Oh. It's not. They do have some really steamy scenes though. You should put a porn image and, and a Bible caption. It could be like the Delilah. Is Delilah a character? Yeah, she's the one that tempts Samson into cutting his hair. Oh, that's that her? bitch. Yeah, like why'd she it's do like a that? Of like Riley Reed or someone from like a scene somewhere. Yeah. Nice. Okay. How'd she trick him? She People don't talk like, about that enough. How did she trick There's a lot of trickery in the Bible. Like I just said, the, the, I can't think of her name, but the one daughter early on in the first couple chapters who tricked lot. her drunk father into fucking her. Oh, Noah? I don't think it was... Was it Noah? I don't yeah. Know. Was it? Yeah. No. Noah's daughter? Noah's daughter fucked Noah. Wasn't it like two daughters that went yeah. in and like fucked their dad? Come, let us make love with our father so we can procreate. My favorite part of the Bible is the begot part. Anytime What's that? Some, where they just have Ishmael the name? Anytime begot. someone begot someone, Shishmael. that means they fucked. So it would be like, you know, William and Ike begot Hans. 
hot. Whoa. Whoa. Hot. That's, hot. That's it's not how hot. it works. It's the hottest part this of the Bible. This is sex ed in Florida. By far. And there's at least seven pages where it's just begot, 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 begot. And it's like. So you're just Whoa. reading that and thinking, oh, they had sex. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, the funny thing is there's a genealogy in Matthew and there's a genealogy in Mark and they don't line up. It's like different names, and they have different numbers of people. So there's. It's different like when I read Harry Potter, and I'm noticing all the plot holes with Hermione. What What's one plot hole with Hermione? Um, you know, I J K spent a grueling amount of time working in this. Uh, you guys ever read Harry Potter or see Harry Potter? You guys know Harry Potter. Harry Potter, more like fairy water. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't watch that shit. Well, she uses a time turner in one of the books or movies. It's a time travel necklace that allows her to take multiple classes at the same time. Yeah. And I feel like they could have gone more into how that affects her menstrual cycles. But and they I didn't. Felt like they didn't at all. Not like, like literally 0% of the book is on that. And I think that at least four chapters should have been dedicated. So a to plot hole. Absolute plot hole in my, in my mind. That's what they could. Did you know that, Hans? They called that a plot hole. Yeah. When they didn't get into the... Man, did y'all see the Da Vinci Code? Oh, lot, Lot's Daughter. Lot's Daughter? Yeah. I don't think that was in Harry Potter. Is he the guy that created those spaces, like, in between buildings? Yeah, it's like where so you go... they got park. their father drunk, Mike father Lott. to drink wine that night also, and the younger daughter went in and slept with him. <laughs> and he was not aware of it when she laid out. <laughs> she got him. So both Lot's Daughter became pregnant by their father. Hey, follow the Bible. If the Bible says it's okay, you can do it. Yeah, follow the New Testament, Hans, not the Old Testament. <laughs> We're not in Israel. Well, it's the second best. Are you Jewish? I... Why do you ask? Just from context clues, from everything we were talking about last night. What were we talking about that sparked that in you? Menorahs. I have a deep interest in menorahs. It's a vested interest. I collect them. You like eBay for your little... Yeah, my little shirts. Your little shirts, and I like them for my little menorahs. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I tried to use contact clues. I was trying to fill in contact the plot Contact clues? Isn't that what they're called? Contact clues? Contact clues? Contacts. Clues. For astigmatism. It's like you can't find uh, your glasses, right? You gotta use contact clues. You gotta have contact proper syntax. Clues. But you have to have right syntax. Right syntax. <laughs> no, I dodged my syntaxes this year. Did you? Yeah. How were you able to? Do, aren't you worried about the IRS? Yeah. The well, sin RS. I've been thinking about it this whole fucking podcast. I know you guys are laughing and having fun, but I cannot stop thinking about the IRS. I are in trouble. I R Stein. Isn't he the guy that wrote the books? R L Stein. R L Stein. You wanna? You want to get a little further away from William right now? Would you allow me? It looks like you're literally about to sit on his lap right now. Okay, so you want me I to scoot further sweet. away, then you want me to scoot closer, <laughs> then further away. I'm getting shit on from all sides. You and Gamer Guy and you and... Gamer Guy? Yeah, I can't get over what Gamer Guy was saying. I'm still pretty pissed about it. Like, he was coming at you. That I'm sounds a thousand like a lot of, times sadder than you. Sounds like a lot ass. of honestly fucking petty bullshit from someone who isn't man enough to get to as many balloons popped as you, and he wants to fucking dampen your shine. Yeah, dude, I've popped a billion balloons. That's a shit Yeah, this time. podcast really needed a table with a bunch of shit on it. <laughs> of us. That's what this fucking podcast was missing. I've been thinking at this whole time. There. Yeah, now that's better. Now some sort of like now it looks liminal space. Liminal spaces. But I really want to be here. That's not a liminal space. I know. I'm oh, glad you ended up are... making it in here, though. I remember I jokingly said, what did I say to you, Hans? I was like, where's I going to stay or something? And then Hans said, oh, yeah, it's fine. Come over. And I was thinking, okay, this is going to work. And then it and then it worked, and then you started snoring. And then it stopped and was, working. And then, the, yeah, it stopped working. You know, you snore too, but it's like the most soft, delicate snore I've ever heard Are in you serious? Life. I'm being dead serious. Because I, I, I woke up a couple times, um, and I was just lying awake and thinking about the IRS. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I could hear you in the background going like... Really? I recorded it. No, you didn't. Yeah, yeah, I did. Him snoring? Yeah. Is that me or him? No, that's you. Oh, okay. 
That's so funny you recorded that, Hans. I know. It really, you stopped. It ended up being fine. That's so funny you recorded that, though. I was horrified for I a second. I was like, how am I going to be able to sleep? I switched to my side, and it was fine. It ended up working out for everyone. This is later on in the night. <laughs> it sounds different. It's a different type of snore. That's the side snore. Yeah. Yes, at the side. Look, one. if you guys want to kick me out of the hotel room tonight, I'll find another person's floor to sleep on. It's fine, dude. Just go up there and beg. It'd be yeah, like just a go seven, to the front desk. Six minute infomercial. No, it's fine, Ike. That's so funny you recorded that, though, Hans. I didn't. I just Googled yeah, snoring on YouTube. Oh, did you <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> I was going to be a little surprised that you did. Like, that's kind of crazy or something. I believe it. I totally believe I it. I totally <laughs> believed you as well. <laughs> what a great time we just had. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, but no, yours was definitely a lot more delicate. It was like... Well, yeah, I have to sleep on my side. If I sleep on my back, it'll I'll stop breathing. Yeah, you were saying you get sleep paralysis. You ever get that? Yeah, I hate that. Yeah, it's awful. Does it happen when you sleep on your back? No, I just power through it. What, you wake <laughs> yourself up? Yeah, I'm just like... Okay. Sometimes I can wake myself up, and it's like the Kill Bill thing where she's like, okay, move your toe, but it, with me, it'll always be my hand. I'm like, okay, move your hand. And sometimes, and if I can do that, I can kind of get out of it. I'm not kidding. It's like nightmarish. That's why I sleep on my stomach. I can't deal with that. Yeah, dude. Oh You're God. lucky you've never had it. I just feel so awful. I feel like I've, I've spent so much time judging you and ridiculing you, and I've never known what you were going through. Yeah, well, I'm glad you know now. I never took a moment to walk in here. William was like, hey, I might freak out and start yelling in the middle of the night, so just wake me up. <laughs> I kind of wish that had happened, so it would not it would have made my snoring look not as bad. One of those dreams. Luckily, I didn't have a dream of you killing me. I, one of my buddies visited me in Austin, and he just was totally out of it. He had gotten the electroshock therapy because he was having problems. I think he's better now. But he came without a bag or anything to visit me in Austin, and the whole thing scared me. And I had a dream that night that he kicked in the door and murdered me. <laughs> it was scary. It was so scary. Such Is a vivid dream. Is your friend offended that you thought that about him? Eh, I would think he wouldn't see this. That's I would good. guess. I used to do a lot of cocaine with him. It was always fun. Surprised. It was a lot of fun. What was so fun about it? I don't know. Just listening to... He had a wonderful Star Wars album, and we'd listen to that. And like the... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it was on a whole album, and I would pee in his sink, and he wouldn't like that. Did y'all realize I peed in the sink here? <laughs> Why you peed in the sink that? here? Yeah, There's did y'all no know that? No, I haven't that. used the sink, have you? I licked it. I was drinking out of it. You licked it? Yeah, we, that's our emergency water supply. Yeah, I noticed I there was water in there. Y'all didn't notice it was a different color? I've just been laughing. <laughs> it's, I, I, I thought that was the fish oil. No, that's TT. Oh my gosh, we have to unstop the water stopper. We have to have let to the water go down the drain. Yeah. I know. We were just bathing in it. You were bathing in the sink? Yeah, like a little baby. I was wondering why it was so fucking wet on the ground <laughs> in there. I was like, what is good? So I take a I had shower heard like a whole bunch open? of like thudding oh, a... and like giggling, and I didn't realize it was Hans bathing himself in the sink like a little child. Yeah, I was playing with myself. Wow. No, but... Uh, you sounded like you were having fun we whatever have, you were doing. We have like a toilet and a shower, and we're you just using the sink for both things. It's like we need to start using the proper bathroom appliances. I know. I'll stop. I'm I'll sorry. start shitting in the shower. <laughs> or wait, what? Sorry, what are you telling us to do? I'll start brushing my teeth over the toilet. That doesn't seem so bad. No, as long as you don't. That's what bidets are for. The toilet. Right? Yeah, yeah, bidets for. You don't need a cup. They should install that, like a little water jet, so you can just rinse your mouth. Right. Oh, or like I love the thing that. they have in the dentist. You just pick it up or put it down. Dentists Suction. commit more suicide than any profession. Profession. I thought uh, veterinarians did. No, -uh. I, I had heard the veterinarians. Veterans. I also heard the Walmart uh, yeah. readers. Yeah, they, Walmart readers. Not Walmart readers. Every time readers, you do a push-up, we're seat veteran checkers. guys or something. We're seat checkers. 
Every that's time you I do learned. a push up, a veteran. That's why I haven't done. <laughs> that's why I haven't done a push up. I love veterans so much. Veterans keep dying. Gosh. It's something like that. William has killed so many veterans these days. <laughs> Remember when we were like, if there's an earthquake, you got to get under a door frame. Right. And yeah, then, why is that? I thought the whole building comes down if there's an earthquake. Uh, earthquakes have deep respect for door frames. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Just because there's nothing that's going to crash down on you. Is a door frame that strong? They should make the whole house out of the door frame material. You know yeah. I mean? Why are they <laughs> saving it? It's like you're making a nuclear bunker where only like this much square footage is like resistant to anything and the rest is all a glass dome. What's the point? It's like the black box in an airplane. Yeah, exactly. They should, should make, make the, the whole airplane plane out, of out of the black, black box. box. I would love yeah. to ride in a black airplane. Or out airplane. of a door frame. That would be so cool. Yeah, airplane out of a door frame. Yeah, it could just be holes. Whole, we should start hiding in airplanes in when there's an earthquake. <laughs> yeah, it's a little windy, but it's safe. It's really windy. <laughs> why don't they make black boxes out of door frames? <laughs> yeah, why don't they? Black... <laughs> or why don't they make houses out of black boxes? Mm. Well, we yeah, need like to... when the house burns down, you can like go listen to everything that was being said. Isn't that what a black box is? In a plane? Yeah. Wait, if what? If like you know the whole. Oh, I guess if you're making the whole house out of black box, it wouldn't work. But like you know, in a plane, if a plane goes down, the black box survives. You can kind of play back and be like, oh, what were they all talking about? <laughs> what were just, they all talking about? Just general, some random, <laughs> just random days. What were they the talking house? about on the plane before it crashed? Because they have like recordings and stuff, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah. It's a black box. It's like a uh, black pussy. What, a, what do you mean? African-American vagina. It's the only thing that will survive <laughs> <laughs> when everything else in the world is crash and burn. You got to listen to a black woman's, uh-uh, honey, you ain't listening to my pussy. <laughs> Not for that amount of money. That sounds more like a Mohican woman than a black woman. Hey, boom, boom, boom. Anyways, um, yeah, if you're in an earthquake, you got to get under a door frame and play dead. But if it's a cougar, then you got to get into... My dog is super ready for earthquakes. He's constantly playing dead. Is he? Yeah. Is he doing okay? He's earthquake prepping. And in a tornado, get in the bathtub. Yeah, and appear larger than you are. Yeah, look larger than you are. Get a, like a towel over you in the bathtub if there's a <laughs> Just be in the bathtub like this. And if you're menstruating, yeah. the tornado will smell it. Yeah, if yeah, if you're menstruating, if your wife is menstruating, it's going to come tornado, to your house. Your ass out. <laughs> it doesn't matter what kind of path it's on, if it smells any kind of menstruation, it's coming right fucking for you. Yeah. And make sure to put your food in a tree. Yeah, put your food in a in tree. In a little sack hanging up in a tree. Yeah. And put your wife there. Hang your wife up in a tree. Yeah. Unless she a, has a black box, in which case, don't do that, because then you might be arrested for a hate crime. That's what they say. <laughs> That's what I'm taking a mental note right now, just to make sure I don't do that. Okay, you I gotta go tee tee. No I gotta go tee tee. Will you leave some in the sink again? I'm getting thirsty. Will people be able to hear me tee tee on the? Oh yeah, right. You could hear that before, right? You might want to turn your mic off. I'm Unless we just want to sit here uninterrupted and listen to him pee. Will you turn your mic off? God, what the Oh my fuck God, is, William's what not the turned fuck his mic off. going on out there? I don't have any idea. This Can you hear it? Into like a giant disaster. I'm trying to fucking pee. Oh my God, now. you're peeing into the mic, you fucking peeing psycho. It doesn't sound healthy. Oh, it doesn't no. sound like a healthy People stream. Doing. Why did I have to fucking? He doesn't know how to yes, turn it off. going to do this. I swear, I don't He's even know why. He's just self. such a big mistake. And <laughs> Mike was snoring all night, and I can't even pee anymore. Do you hear that? And then I don't even know how to tell Hans what's going on. Oh, my God, God that sounds sink. horrible. So Acoustically. He's enjoying himself. This is a long, <laughs> so long stream. <laughs> Holy hell. How much water are, are you drink? okay? God, you're doing it all in huh? the sink, right? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I think you're losing Why? too much water. Huh? You're losing viewers. Gamer guy is threatening to hear you. walk. Uh, oh my god, that's disgusting. Uh, are people what people think? Are they dude, gonna... that was a long pee. <laughs> what are you cutting weight for the UFC? Huh?
Are you trying to cut weight right How now and fight Kamzat Chemaev? UFC fighters wish they had the peace stream that William does. It sounded powerful. It sounded intimidating. If I heard that, yeah. I wouldn't want to fight him. That was a girthy call. Well, I did hear it, and I don't want to fight him. Did you hear him? Oh, yeah. I could hear it. I huh? could. I, could I just it. washed my hands in there. I didn't. That's good. Did the audience hear that? Because I didn't hear it. <laughs> yeah, I just like washed my hands. <laughs> Turtleneck or something. I know. This is the bad part about these vintage shirts I get on eBay. All the necks are too tight. He says, a multi-room podcast. That is pretty extraordinary. It's like the, that thing you were showing us. So what do you guys think about... Uh, should we try to call someone? Oh, yeah. Do you have, like, um, any... Tell Tony to come down here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you tell him. <laughs> I'm not telling him anything. Yeah, that was a long pee. I literally peed three minutes the other night when I got back to my apartment because I drink all those soda waters. I'm not even kidding. It was three minutes. I don't know how all of that was inside of me. <laughs> That's pretty extraordinary. Yeah, three minutes. I feel like I should be on my phone too. No, don't get on your phone. Oh my God. Um, you guys think that uh, the Tonight Show is going to be great? The Tonight Show? The Tonight um, I haven't show. watched it in a while. But James Corden? I think they put on a good production every day or every week or however often. I can't often wait. Do Dude, that crowd yesterday wasn't my favorite, but tonight it's going to be great. Yeah, tonight should be good. Last night seemed a little weird. I honest, I felt good about last night. Luckily, I always get worried about doing over fucking yeah, not even night, that much last time. Last night was the best set of my life. It was life-changing. That crowd was dumb as fuck. Stop saying that, Hans, because I felt wonderful right about it, and then you keep on saying, oh, they were so dumb, and I'm like, oh, my God. Hans well, and I were, were laughing. Or, William and I were in the green room like, wow, what a show. Well, this is so fun. And no, Hans yeah. is just He's fucking. He's raining on my parade. He's been raining time. on my parade all night. It was night. just like sort of like short attention span theater. Yeah, talky. Yeah. Walkie talkies. There was one guy in the front row on his phone. Yeah, he was very rude. Yeah. So rude. Maybe he was looking up your net worth or something. I Dude, those see things, are those doing. accurate? Like, sometimes when I watch a movie, I see, like, uh, you know, a fucking, like, Denzel Washington, and I gotta look up his Wikipedia. Where is he from? What's his net worth? Maybe that's what they were doing with you. You ever stopped to think about that? I should have hit on his girlfriend in front of him because he was on his phone. You snooze, you lose. Oh, yeah, he had kids. You snooze, you lose in the sense that if you're not constantly hitting on your own girlfriend, Hans Kim is going to come in and do it. <laughs> exactly. Okay. If you're not shitting, get off the pot. I mean, people like that need to be taught a lesson. And if I have to fuck his girlfriend to teach him that lesson, then I'm down. That's what needs to be done. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he was uh, weird. Um, I don't know how you know he has kids. Did you talk to him? No, Tony was talking to him at one point. I think he said he had kids. Was he, like, annoying? Yeah, nobody was answering Tony last night. Really. <laughs> that was funny. Remember? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I shouldn't say. It's like, that's great. No one in this room <laughs> has a job they can say. Um, yeah, that audience was uh, gay, but tonight's show is going to be great. Way better than last night, which sucked. No, it didn't suck. I was just kidding. Yeah, I think last night was probably my best performance, and I'm thinking, oh, God, I'm not going to be able to top that, and there's four more shows, so I'm horrified a little bit. <laughs> You're going to be great. It's going to only go down from last night, probably. You're going to be great. It's only downhill from there. No. Or no, uphill. No. What is downhill better? Downhill is easier. Downhill is easier. But like it doesn't look that good on the Uphill ride. sounds optimistic. Does it? Everything looks uphill, uphill from, from here. here. Like, <laughs> that that uphill sounds horrible. <laughs> that sounds like a lot more work. Um, <laughs> although uphill battle. Mm. <laughs> it's all uphill <laughs> from here. But if you take the high road versus the low road. <sighs> if there's a bird in your hand. Let's do the math. Two birds equals one stone. One stone. One stone equals, is like three and a half birds. Or a stone's throw away. 
it's close. So two birds equals it's close. Throwing two birds. Throwing two birds is further because birds can fly. But it's not. Very true. But you can get a rock. Hit the like button, please. Um. <laughs> yeah, aren't you supposed to say that? Yeah, smash aren't the I like supposed button. to say that? Was I, that my aren't job? you supposed to say that? And hit subscribe. And oh, yeah. Be sure to hit smash that subscribe button and drop kick the like button. And drop kick go ahead the and like button. Uh, uh, fucking. Uh, Go ahead and um, throw fuck the comment section and share on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Be sure to share on Twitter though. After yeah. you've throat fucked the comment. Incestuously section. share this on Twitter, and skull fuck the. Uh, subs- uh, we already did that. RSS one. feed. Okay, but, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, how was the RSS feed on this? <laughs> is the RSS feed looking the RSS good? RSS feed. Is it strong? Yeah, the signal is strong. I'm always worried the RSS is. I got weak four and thin. bars of RSS right now. Do you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. Is that why your phone is so hot right now? I feel the heat coming from your phone. <laughs> it's right emanating. Now. Yeah, this is actually being live streamed to the International Space Station. Really? They're watching it up there right now? Yeah. They, they, they're watching everything now with that new telescope of theirs. God, I hope they're not watching gravity. <laughs> It'd be scary to watch gravity if you're up in space. Remember when George Clooney was like pulling her into space for some reason? And then he, she cuts, or he, he lets go, and then she, she magically bounces back, back the other way. And then he still won't stop fucking talking to her for like twenty minutes. And he's like, like, "Shut up, dumbass." But it's, you know, I'm thinking like, I mean, maybe NASA walkie talkies are better. But when I have a normal Earth walkie talkie, if I get ten feet away from someone, you're not going to hear me anymore. Why doesn't he do one that of these work. maneuvers back to the spaceship? Like yeah, a breast you should breaststroke and back, <laughs> doggy paddle back to yeah. her. It's for people just learning how to swim. Mm. Doggy paddle. Yeah, Ike. I would have cannonballed. My, <laughs> I would have cannonballed my way right back onto that space station. Not even a can opener. <laughs> Not a can. Do you know how to do a can, can opener? opener? Isn't that just? It's a cannonball, like but one leg is out. <laughs> did you know that, Hans? No. You asked me. A if can I, opener? Did you a ask me if opener? I can do that? I mean, it doesn't. Yeah. Can seem you do a can opener? I could literally do it right now. It doesn't seem. Can you can? can now yeah. imagine me in the air going into a pool. And you That's have to do your one leg up like a cannonball. Well, oh, okay. So then it's like, yeah. Well, I can't do it standing. Yeah, can opener. It's like a cannonball, but one leg is out. I don't get why that's called a can opener. You didn't know that though. No. Yeah, it's a can opener. I thought that was a pistol squat. That's not a pistol squat. I taught you what a, a scorpion kick was. Yesterday. Yeah, the most useless kick in the world. Hey. Just in case someone is like staring at the back of your head from an inch away. You can hit them with the head. Scorpion, with a scorpion kick. kick. Or what if like someone was like grabbing me and they grabbed me by the arms and I was subdued and I was like, oh fuck, I can't, I can't break, I can't and break out of there. And then I fucking scorpion you, kicked their head. And they weren't directly behind you, so you just kicked their shins really hard. That yeah, doesn't I mean, look as cool. Or are they off to the side, just hanging on to you like sideways? Yeah, I mean, what's going on? How many fights are you in, dude? Uh, I, I legally am not allowed to talk about it on. in any kind of public forum. Is this your move? You're actually homeless and you just sleep on comedian mm-hmm. floors? Yeah, that's absolutely it. You're this hopping from comedy club to comedy club? 30th one in the last two months. Yeah, it's been a, a real ride, real roller coaster. Two days in the rewarding. hotel. Mm-hmm. Two days in the hotel. Here for two more nights. Please... Uh, Please sleep on your side though, today. <laughs> Night. <laughs> I'll sleep in my car if it's such an issue. I'll no, sleep you're not going to sleep in your car. In my car. It sounds concerning. Don't sleep in your car. It sounds like it's hard to breathe, and you're just muscling through it. It feels great. That's so funny. I believe that you really did record Ike snoring <laughs> last night. I, I was totally so believe funny. it. I didn't you even doubt that it to for anyone. A you could. Just Google snoring because nobody really knows what they sound like when they snore. Yeah, I don't think people realize what they... Could you, do you realize you're snoring? I know that I snore. <laughs> you know, but, it's so but funny. But in the heat of the moment, <laughs> In you the don't heat know. of the moment, am I present in my dream state? And I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely We, were, we yeah. were yelling at Fuck you. Fuck everyone. <laughs> well, I definitely heard you go, Ike, 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 Ike. Turn on your side. And we knew that you were awake because the snoring snapped, but you didn't say anything. You were just 
Wait, they're like, what's, what's going on? <laughs> I was disoriented. <laughs> I was fucking disoriented. <laughs> we had to be like, stop snoring. <laughs> it was so dark in here with those blackout <laughs> curtains. It was pitch black dark in here. I know, that's the best way to sleep. Yeah, I love it. But yeah, you were like, uh, when you first woke up, you were like, is there someone in the room? <laughs> were you like, what were you thinking? Did you think that there was like a fire? Or... No, no. I, I kind of had a feeling I went as I went to sleep after you apologized in advance for the screaming that might happen. <laughs> I kind of thought, oh, maybe I should apologize in advance for the snoring that might happen. And I kind of thought, oh, that's definitely going to happen. And it did. But it was all right. It ended qu- as, just as quickly as it started. It ended. I don't know. It seems to yeah. be a big hot topic on this podcast. It's taken <laughs> up like 40% of that's the dialogue That's the name of the here. podcast. Is the Ike Snores podcast. Again, I don't think we've spent nearly enough time talking about your rib hands, your rib mouth, your rib pants. But my snoring, oh God, God forbid. It's just funny, man. It was so loud for like five minutes. I'm thinking, <laughs> how am I supposed to sleep and William tonight? and I were just looking at each other like, can you believe this Yo, floor? What is going on? My... <laughs> Bitch. What is going on? <laughs> trying to count to ten right now. Okay. Ike's mad at us. Ike, we're kidding. Ike, we're kidding, dude. Ike, seven, eight. Get to ten. Ike's gonna kick us out of our beds. I felt Nine. so bad sleeping in a bed. <laughs> I was just rolling around with all that. Yeah, you space. guys sounded really comfy. <laughs> we each gave we you were. a pillow. We each gave you a pillow. Every time you said anything, yeah. I was just like, "Oh, they sound so rested." You could lay on all the pillows. Like, just get like four pillows. What if I like laid between the ends of your two beds, like my foot? What would on be one the bed, point of that? Head on the I like bed. this because you're far away from me. <laughs> I don't know what to think about you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good arrangement. It is. I like not being thought about. We should just sleep under the table. Would that give you a sense of comfort? It would make me feel like I'm doing like a tornado drill in school, but yeah. If there was a shooting and a guy comes in here, he would shoot at the beds for sure, but he would definitely miss you. He'd be like, there can't be a third person in here. Surely there can't be sleeping in the corner while these two sleep comfortably. Yeah. I killed them, but they're still snoring. That's weird. (laughs) Weird. Who are you texting? None of your business, dude. None of your business. Is it your agent? Oh, are you texting your agent again? Are you trying to get a hotel room by yourself? Yeah, they just cast me in. Uh, they're coming out with the second version of the music band. They didn't like the first movie. You know, they had to update some of those lyrics on Broadway to make them less offensive. From the music band? Mm-hmm. Like what? Well, there was a song called Shapoopy in it. And, shapoopy? Yeah, that's like a legitimate song you can look at. Hey, Shapoopy. It would go, Shapoopy, 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 the girl that's hard to get. That's how that song went. And then it would go, but you can get her yet. And I can't remember what they changed the lyrics to, but it's like some more socially progressive thing. So it's probably you like, can't get her easy? The girl who's super smart or something like that. I don't know. Oh. You know, it's probably something like that. Well, that's good. Is it good? Are you happy with that when they update? I think it's good when they art? update stuff. Do you think they should update the Mona Lisa to make it more socially progressive? Should they give her a nose ring and pink hair? No, they need to put her with like an Egyptian headdress. Because they're the people that started it all. What? (laughs) Egyptians? I'm kidding. I don't know anything about Egyptian people. Do you? I know they had a revolution in Tahir Square. At the Walmart there? Yeah, they were arguing for them to roll back the prices. Price rollbacks. When is Walmart going to start doing that again? That's why everybody used to shop there. I haven't seen that goddamn smiley face in years. I know. They stopped at the commercials. They're like, we're getting way too much hate mail. The YouTube comments are killing us. They're like, we're just going to go like fucking something that doesn't have commercials. What company doesn't have commercials? Kmart doesn't anymore. Kmart Radio Shack? Doesn't have stores anymore. I know. Blockbuster? Those are just businesses that are out of business. There's a Blockbuster. There's a Blockbuster. There's one, at least one Blockbuster. That well, then they get as many commercials as there are stores. You yeah, miss Blockbuster commercials. 
I recently ran into a blockbuster with my automobile. No, you didn't. Are you serious? I did, yeah. It was when I first started learning how to drive. I didn't even have my license. So I was trying to take a left. The building was here. I was trying to take a left. And yeah. then I realized it was a one-way, so I switched directions midway, but there wasn't enough room, so I hit it. And all the movies on that side of the wall fell over. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. I know. It's crazy. I was just like on a wall. Who was in the car with you? Anybody? <laughs> my mom and my sister. Did they tell you to stop? Not really. The I wall? mean, they were mad at me. Did you have to go back in there and clean up the uh No, we just dropped videos? off the movie we were trying to return and jetted. <laughs> I wonder what it was. Do you remember? Uh, like Homeward Bound or something. Animal actors. Yeah, they can pay them less. Tons less. Did you know that, Ike? I didn't, and it troubles me. You don't think those actors put in just as much work as, say, like a Daniel Day-Lewis type? No. You don't think so? You ever no. seen Babe? I think it's mostly CG. You ever seen Babe? I think... Uh, the English pig. They wouldn't know what... The, what would they do with the money? <laughs> they don't have a credit card. Bigger pen, better slop. I don't know. That's not for me to decide. <laughs> better slop. Better slop. It's still called slop, though. Yeah, it's, it's just big. better. Better consistency. Better Charlotte's smell. Web. That was a sad movie, starring a pig. Animal Charlotte... Farm, those animals are really smart. Animal those animals Farm? probably would know what to spend their money on. Slop. Sloppy. So what do you guys think about... Uh... Eating the leftovers. I don't know. Don't eat the pizza. It's not been refrigerated. Yeah, is there not a fridge? Did you not put anything it's away? It's too or? big for the fridge. You couldn't take the stuff from last packages. night in the fridge. What do you think about that crazy trip that we took in the rain for no reason? That was fun. That was actually a lot of fun. It was scary. A little. It better have been. It cost one hundred fifty dollars. I was scared I know, we were going to get zapped. <laughs> Legitimately, I was pretty scared. Some of those uh, lightning bolts were very close to us. It sounded like, at least. Yes, it did. We would have died. <laughs> I wasn't touching any metal. But wouldn't it still shock you? Or would it not? It was just uncomfortable. Yeah, it would be a little shocking. I mean, I think only the floor mats were rubber, but, I mean, what was the material of the cushion? The cushion didn't seem that thick, and we were all sitting on, like, a giant metal-framed electric vehicle. I don't know. I don't know. You, you just, you out, just yeah. gotta, like, put your hands in. And then let it go around you. It's like a Faraday cage. Faraday cage. Faraday cage. <laughs> what is that? Is that like Nick Cage's dad? Yeah. Mike Faraday. It's like a Easter egg. Easter. Fabergé. Fabergé egg. Yeah. Deviled. Um, but uh, yeah, we. It, it was really tricky when we were at an intersection, and then the winds were like all funneled into the intersection. Yeah, I hate that. And it, it came at you sideways. You were getting so wet. I was getting so wet. Hans was shivering like a little leaf in, in, the, in the wind. It was... Yeah. Oh, man. That's what happens when you get poured on. You looked so, like, small and Well, I was feeble. trying to get small. No, I was trying to conserve body heat. That's smart. You were huddling for warmth. Yeah. Gotcha. I wasn't going like this. You could have used me for warmth, yeah. Hans. You could have. If that ever happens again. To. I'm just putting that out there. I was efficiently conserving body heat by being a little bitch. No, you weren't. You had to do what you had to do. I know. William was too nice, so he wasn't complaining. And he, he was the only other person on the right side. <laughs> so. My pants were soaked. I got soaked by the end, for I sure. I was soaked. Yeah. It took a while, but I, I got there. I came in here and I turned up the heat to 80, and then I forgot about it. Yeah, it was so hot in here. <laughs> and we came back and it was 80. Back to 70. Thank God. Thank 70's God. 70's a little cold for me. I know, even under blankets it's cold? I mean, yeah, because then you go to the other side of the bed and then it's like, you got to warm it up again. I know. Isn't that fun? It's all part. It's, it's something like a thrill. to do. Yeah, I, I had mean, to go to like one side of the carpet to warm it up. <laughs> I was like, oh no, this part of the rug is way too chilly. So I know what you mean, Hans. Well, cold air falls, so it'd be even colder on the floor than it is on the bed. So. It was brutal. It was brutal. 
Where may your rise is? We're at a meeting at 6.40. What time is it? 5.20. Ooh. Okay, what do you Ooh. think, Hans? Is that it? How long have we been on here? I may lay down and play We've balloons. We've been here an hour and 20 minutes. Let's just read this. Uh, William looks like a mechanic that took my money to fix my car, but ended up making things horribly worse. Yeah, no shit. It was me, dumbass. As much as 90% of Asians are nearsighted in some regions of the world. Okay. Okay, we got a scientist in the chat. <laughs> Did you know after William's career in the CIA and one of the in the French foreign major? So, uh, well, if we had to say one thing to the, uh, the legions of fans, what would you say? What would you say? I, um, uh, uh, pass. Pass. You would say pass. 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 I'll come, come pass back to the me. ball, you come selfish back to me. fans. William, what would you say? Pizza, pizza. <laughs> Do you remember that, Little Caesars? Yeah. Because you get two pizzas. Yeah. The guy in the little stick. Why don't the more stick? companies yeah. do that? Like Where Nike, is he? Nike. I don't know. He's in the same place that the smiley face Walmart guy is. They're all in the... Oh, yeah. In the ether somewhere. In hell. Burning I think in the hell. Little Caesar Let's guy burn. still exists. I'm pretty sure he still is out there kicking, fucking it up, you know, doing It's like doing a Pokeball. Pokeball. How? How so? That's in the Da Vinci Code, isn't it? Pokeballs? <laughs> isn't it? Pokeballs? Yeah. Da Vinci Code? Pokey bowls or pokey balls? What are you saying to me? Pokey bowls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never ask a Tennessean to yeah to, to anything. Word. Never ask right. anything. <laughs> don't don't talk to a Tennessean if you can help it. Isn't the Da Vinci Code the one where he's on an island? Yeah, yeah, that's the one where um, it's uh, Mark Ruffalo and the Le- Hulk. Leonardo. Yup. And there's a painter. I would say, with big eyes. achieve your dreams, believe in yourselves, and. Rent. What else? Rent. Rent. Um, never stop. Um, Rent. Al- always uh, strive for the. Um, the stars, because uh, even if, if you, you miss, uh, work you're going to land uh, on the sun. Believe in your. Uh, Dre- dress for the job you want, not the job you never had. Yeah, that's the that's the one I was gonna go. With. <laughs> that's a good one. What if you've never had the job you want? You'll have to. Figure that's because that you're one not, out. you're dressing like shit. That's why. Yeah, dress for the job you want, not the job you never had. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I never remember. dress like the job I never had. It's good. Do you words not? To, I never do, and it's good words to live by. You're right. You you're shouldn't. absolutely right. Friendships no develop in blows. That's yeah, when you were blowing one. me last night, I was thinking, wow, we're really becoming friends. I was so me. awkward. You were blowing me so you could get on a bed. Yeah, I couldn't tell which one was doing which, but <laughs> I knew something was happening on the floor. Oh, so when I'm doing... <laughs> so, sorry, sorry. When I'm sucking your dick, it's called me blowing you, right? That's yeah. it? Okay, gotcha. I got it mixed up. We're all blowing each other. Yeah, it's been fun. I got blowed on today by the wind of nature. Mother Nature blew me. Me too. Blew me away. And you guys are good friends now my mother so um remember lot has slept with his daughter so it's okay to do that lot begot two thoughts who then begot more thoughts <sighs> that's something to think about it's like green eggs and ham except two daughters and spam <laughs> Uh, thank you. You can report me.